Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I am here with Desheen Moore. Desheen, thank you for taking the time to do this today. Hey, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I know a lot of people know you, but for those who don't, uh, Desheen has organized, or he is the organizer of the Beat the Streets program. Uh, Desheen, for those who are not familiar with that, can you explain to them what that is? Well, what Beat the Streets was, it was a basketball program that I started this summer just to try to stop some of the violence that was going on around the Berkshire County areas, you know? So I reached out to everyone from all surrounding um, towns and got some kids together. You know, the money, the money, um, they didn't have to bring any type of money. They just had to bring yourself and come to play. Okay. And how, how was the tournament structured? Was there like different brackets or? So, so what I did it was uh, I had kids, on Sundays, 12 and under, boys or girls. And then on the weekdays, I had uh, the tournament for ages um, 14 to 17 and then 18 and up. Okay. And uh, how long did it go on? It went on for about, I would say, a month and a half. It started kind of late because I, I thought about it late and I had to go down there and get all the papers signed and everything and they um um what happened was it took me so long to get it going is because they i had to get uh sign offs because i had live music out there oh okay so that so it took a little bit longer um but the turnout was great you know i, I wish it would have lasted longer but Next year, we will start it from soon as they get out of school, and I'll probably be doing it four times a week instead of three. Okay. And where was it? Where was the tournament? Where did it take place? This was at Dorothy Amos Park on West Street in Pittsfield, Mass. Okay. And um, I guess for those who who is there a way if they they want more information or people who want to be involved or help out in any way is there a way for them to get in touch with you or oh absolutely you can contact me at mr superfly 78 at icloud.com or you also can email me at beat the streets at icloud.com okay and uh i guess what what made you decide to was it a spur of the moment thing to decide to do this or what made you decide to do this well what made me do it was you know when we when i when i grew up around here i've been here since um probably like 83 or something like that i'm 43 years old now um we had programs you know after after we got out of school for the summertime we had programs around here um those same programs don't exist anymore um i want to say i feel like we have forgotten about, you know, who our future is surrounded around and what it takes to stop some of the violence and some of the, you know, the overdoses that are going on in our community. So I thought to, you know, basketball helped me stay away from a lot of trouble growing up. So I thought, why don't I start a league to where, you know, it's just not, the league wasn't just for people that played basketball. The league was somewhere that people could come and perform you know, and, and just show people what type of talents you have instead of always oh, just being locked inside the house. People got to understand we just came out of a pandemic, too. Right. You know, so to see everybody outside and you have live performances and kids and, you know, they're doing food out there, you know, and a couple people from these um, programs like 18 Degrees and things like they came out to the park. You know, the um, Pittsburgh police came to the park. So it was just good to see everybody in the community coming as one and coming out for these events. It was, it was, you know, it was a lot of people out there most of the nights until it started getting close to school. And then, you know, the tournament kind of died down. I didn't even get a chance to have the championship game due to, you know, most of the kids going back to college and, you know, other kids living so far away and, you know, school coming up then, but next year we would continue that. You think it would have been bigger without the pandemic? Oh, I think I think if I think if I if we didn't have the pandemic that I could have I could have had more adults involved in it, not just, you know, younger kids and, and teenagers. Right. Yeah. I mean, but that's the pandemic, really, it, pandemic affected everyone. 
You know, I maybe maybe you know you know I should say maybe not as many people would have came out if the pandemic never happened because you know they would have been doing other things. I don't, we haven't had any programs around here for a long time, other than you know um, Dennis. Dennis has his part over over there training the, the females, and um, I think I'm Aaron Mays had a tournament over there. But besides that, there's nothing going. On. We just have empty parks everywhere. I know, and I know we hear it a lot every time there's a mayoral election. We hear about community centers, and but it's we still haven't seen that happen. And I, I think a community center could serve just a, a wide range of things. It could it could be a place for kids that are into sports. It could be kids that are into music or dance. It could be a place for community meetings when there's things going on. Uh, you know, I mean, what, what, were, what do you think is one of the biggest solutions to some of the problems we're seeing? Is it that the kids don't have anything to do or what, what do you think it is? They don't have anything to do. And I think a lot of people, if we had, if we had to go back to where, you know, me and you were 15, 16, you remember we used to have every now listen we had we had the, we had well we really didn't go to the ymca too much but we had the boys club we had the cyc yeah but then if you were when you were old enough and you didn't want to go there it might have been things going on at the boys club and guess where you went around the corner to north street across the street from strawberries you had the yap you remember the yap program oh, yeah. yep that that was like a community center though you know they had weekend dances they brought us on trips like if we if we get some community centers, I just think we can create more jobs. We can we can create a safer environment for these kids and somewhere for them to go. And you you could you know their talents will flourish from this. You know, we just have to think about like where where else do we where do we have anywhere to go? Like for our baseball players, soccer players, uh, musicians, like you said, you know, people that do art, they don't have anywhere to go. So if we could get some type of community center where we had all of that inside of there and helping kids build some type of careers, some type of programs in there, then we could really attack uh, the problem that we're having around here in Berkshire County, period. I agree with that. I agree when the youth have a lot of things to get involved in, like the boys club for me was, you know, I started off boxing remember when we did a lot of boxing at the club we're down there with frog right yeah (laughs) Yeah. i mean there was there was always something going on and it was it was where everybody was meeting it's where you wanted to be you know and i i do i agree with you on that and i think what you're doing is incredible i mean to just step forward and and take it upon yourself to do this that's so admirable i mean i i anything i can do to help you with that you know i will i mean i love what you're doing um, Like you know, the, the I mean, we're we're having problems with young adults, but it's it, it didn't just start yesterday. It started from them not, ha- not having any program. It's boredom. It's boredom. I'm not saying it all comes from boredom, but boredom brings a lot of trouble, especially in the town that we live in. There are there is absolutely nothing to do. Like if you, you know, you got some kids that their parents would say this. Well, since that new building opened up or that new program opened up, you have just been a different person. Right. They're able to find themselves. They're able to relate with people. They're able to find, you know, who they are with just something to do with their mind not being trapped anymore. There's community centers around here, not just one, but why not build four of them? One in each county around Pittsville, you know what I mean? Like North Adams, Pittsville, maybe one in Great Barrington, you know, or something like that. And you could just have people jumping around from different areas because you got to think what we have. We have we have um, the Arts College out there in, in North Adams, right? Yep. And then down here, you have a whole bunch of things that go on in Great Barrington. So if you bring all of these people into where everybody's learning different things, who knows what we could come up with around here, you know? It's people, it's, 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 it's kids around here that want to be movie stars. That want to be like Mike. I there there is maybe three or four videographers around here in this town, and they were almost like forced to, you know, try to get into that because 
they didn't have anyone to do their videos or anyone to do photo shoots. So it's just like, we, we need a lot of different things here. We need a lot of different things here, you know, but it, it has to start somewhere. So I'm just trying to start it somewhere. I think that's great what you're doing. I mean, it really, it's important. It, it just takes to start with one person stepping up and, and doing this. And you and I were talking uh, before this about organizing a trash pickup on the West side. Yeah. And for one, to help clean up, but two, to get some community together and get engaging and talking to each other. Uh, so everybody knows each other. Cause I think like in our area of the West side and the morning side area, like, uh, there's, there, there, there's people running for council, but not a lot of people that have been involved with the West side know who they are. So I just think if we get out a little bit more and people can understand who these people are and what they want to do for the community, then they could get some type of help from everyone else and they won't feel alone or they won't feel like they're doing it all by themselves or they don't know what to do at all. You know, they can give them some type of direction. No, they didn't come down there and taking kayak trips and canoe trips through the neighborhood. <laughs> now that's, that's one right there. No, I'm just saying that's one right there. Like, I don't know who came up with that idea, but I just feel like they should have came around and asked more people as kids and people like on the West side community right there in the center of the West side, they didn't need a park there. We have, we have three parks right there around that park right there. Three of them, yep. not even including Wakona park. Right. But why not put the center there? Why not put some, 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 um, housing there or some programming there to, you know, get people to learn these careers. Like me and you were talking about, like you have to, try to get some of these kids to do something different Absolutely. because they're, and, and, they're and always that one. used to losing over there. They're always used to losing over there or not having, you know, as much as other kids. So why not just try to give them something over there that can make that community stronger to where they're able to not only help themselves but help people that are growing up in that community as well. I agree. I mean, that park, Look, I'm glad the city took some kind of initiative to put something, but I, it's yes. so confusing to me. You look at the amount of concrete and everything in there, and I thought, you know, look at the bike park over near, or bike skate park over near PHS. And I need to be indoor, outdoor too. Yeah, but I mean, you could have had something like that right there. Anything oh, yeah. other, and I thought, for one, to go kayaking or canoeing, I just it just didn't make sense to me. And I mean, you and I have talked about that, and I, I – I mean, I appreciate that the city took some kind of initiative, but I just don't get that. I don't get that whole I think it should have been something different. I agree. Well, the so they just got to come up with it. They just got to come up with a different plan. Like as much money as it took, to, you know, to build that right there. I imagine that we could have had a community center of the same size, just with a better outcome. Absolutely. Well, I definitely appreciate you doing this again. And, and I want to have you back because we're going to organize this trash pickup and we'll, okay, we'll do yeah. that over the next couple of weeks. And when I have you back, uh, we can go over how people can donate or get involved to help for the next tournament coming up for beat the beat the streets program. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. So within the next couple of weeks and, you know, I'll be seeing you before then anyway, but uh, yeah. I, 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 I can't wait to have you back and we'll get all the details hammered out and uh thank you again for taking the time to do this thank you again and if you want to uh if every if anyone's ever on north street i own the store on north street called mr feats it's located at 549 north street it'll be open next month we do clothing art and sneaker affair all right everybody remember that <laughs> come see you. i appreciate you have a good day yeah i'll, I'll talk to you very soon Okay, buddy. Thank you.